A few years ago, at a rally in Times Square, I held up this card, my equity card, and I said, for 100 years, this card has been the mark of excellence in the American theater. So too, today, tonight, this SAG-AFTRA card is the new mark of excellence throughout the arts, entertainment, and media industries of the United States. And tonight, this card, the SAG after George Heller Memorial Gold Card, stands as the mark of excellence in service to performers, broadcasters, and musical artists, and our new union. To merit this honor, an activist must exemplify our core values of solidarity, affection, and mutual respect among staff and members. Those are the values that got us here. Those are the values that gave our legacy unions the brains, the power, the heart for more than 75 years and helped them steer the course sometimes harrowing, ultimately glorious, that brought us to this triumph of unity and renewal. But resolutions and constitutions and balance sheets could not get us here. Only our people could. Only our people could do that. Our members and staff who marched, negotiated, picketed, and slogged through every one of those 75 plus years. Many of our people have been exemplary. Some have been great. Some have become legendary, and some few times, the legend, like the rainbow, has led to gold, <laughs> to our sag after gold tonight. So tonight we honor a legend, a legend who yet walks among us, who by instinct and design led an essentially merged after SAG local for decades, long before 2012, who proved an exemplary one on one mentor to dozens of staff and hundreds, hundreds of elected leaders, who has a to-the-bone understanding of our members' work in every corner of our vast jurisdiction and organized thousands of jobs to prove it. A person who loves and takes familial pride in every nook and cranny of our accomplishments, who lives our professional lives alongside us every single day, especially we few, we happy few. 
who strive to represent our 165,000 sisters and brothers. A person like Henry V, or Joan of Arc, who brought us through battle to this cathedral of unity, this convention of solidarity, to this coronation of our new union. In the spirit of the golden rule and sacred trust of our mission. Solidarity, affection, and mutual respect. A person in whose veins flows only the true blue golden spirit of sag -Aftra. Tonight, for a career of leadership... A steely determination to do the right thing and for love of us and what we do tonight returned by us in gold. And finally, in a great family tradition. Tonight, this person receives our golden gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, will you join me in welcoming to the stage to receive our SAG-AFTRA George Heller Memorial Gold Card, Miss Pat O'Donnell. I am, I am speechless, and I'm going to try not to cry. Ken Howard says I cry every time I speak. So, I, I, um, I don't have my spandex on. <laughs> oh, my God. And I don't have a teleprompter, and I don't have my glasses on, and I have my sandals on because my ankles are swollen from sitting in all these meetings. <laughs> I have been to more conventions than you will ever know and that I ever want to remember. <laughs> but I've loved every one of them, and I especially love this one. And I want to, I know this will sound like the Emmys, but I want to thank my mom. She convinced me 37 years ago to take this job because she said it would change my life. <laughs> No, and it did. I met hundreds of friends. I established hundreds of relationships, employers and employees. And then I married the general counsel <laughs> <laughs> nearly 25 years ago, who is no longer with us. So, Duncan, <laughs> where are you, Duncan? <laughs> I love, Duncan, I love the way you speak. I may not be your type, but I love you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, more, more importantly, Oh my God. So, my husband, who's no longer with us, Tom Powers, received the gold card in this very city in 2005. So together, both of us have served these unions and now this union for nearly 75 years. I can't believe it. So I, I humbly let you know that I am so pleased and so humbled that to receive the first, very, the first, to be the first staff person to receive this award is incredible. And it has been worth all, all of these years. Thank you so much. I am truly blessed.
And David White, uh, I need a raise. <laughs>